back to basic arithmetic without a calculator. I'm Elizabeth Johnson and this is lesson 4, division of whole numbers. Let's talk about what it means to divide. Well this is a symbol that we usually see in association with division, the bar with a dot at the top and the bottom, but it's not unusual to see this one or this one when you talk about dividing. What does it mean to divide? Well, it's to take a big group of numbers and break it down into even groups of smaller numbers. To illustrate what I mean, let's say I invited three friends over and they started to get thirsty. So I want to give them something to drink and I happen to have a six pack of soft drink. Well, I want to make sure that everybody gets enough and that nobody gets left out. So here's how the math looks. I've got six, six cans and I'm dividing it between my three friends. So how much does everyone get? Well, they get two cans each, two for everybody. Except for me, I'm having water. <laughs> and that's really what division means. All right, so what if we're talking about a bigger problem? Say something like this. 6,735 and you divide it by three. Well, to begin with, let's talk about what we're going to call these numbers to make it a bit easier. Well, the word dividend is the one that we use for this big number here. And divisor or divisor is the one we use for the smaller number that gets divided into the big number. But the one I'm really interested in today is quotient. Why is that so interesting? Well, for one thing, quotient is the answer to a division problem. Another thing that's interesting about it is we often see this word in tests, and that's about the only time you're going to see it. You'll be asked, what is the quotient of 6,735 and 3? And you won't be told that it's a division question. You'll have to remember that. So now you know. Let's talk about the mechanics of how to solve this problem. Just like all the rest of our arithmetic, we want to rewrite it. But this time we're going to rewrite it quite differently. With all the rest of our arithmetic, we have been writing all of our numbers in columns uh, lined up from right to left. This time it's different. The divisor goes on the left and the dividend goes in the middle of this symbol. The quotient will go on top. Now, let's go ahead and tackle this problem. You've got a 3 and you're going to go into first the 6, then the 7, 3, and 5. This time we go from left to right instead of right to left like every other problem we've done so far. 3 goes into 6 we just found out evenly twice with nothing left over. Now let's put the 3 into 7. How many groups of 3 are in 7? There are 2. But this time there's one left over. The 1 is going to go in front of this 3 and it's going to turn the 3 into 13 because it acts as a 10. 3 goes into 13 how many times? Well 3 goes into 12 four times and so there's going to be one left over again. Let's put that one in front of the next one to the right and it's going to turn that 5 into a 15. So now we take 3 and divide it into 15 and it goes evenly five times with no remaining. So what does that mean in real terms? If I had, for example, a lottery ticket that won and there were three friends that pitched in, each one of those friends would have had $2,245 if the total earn it winnings was 6735 So that's what it means to divide, and this is an example of short division. There is another way of dividing, which is called long division, and we're going to talk about that more in our video about fractions and decimals. So be sure to watch out for that. Now, if you want to test this answer, you can do it by using your calculator. And remember to always take the opportunity to try a division problem like this with paper and pencil, because that way you can really strengthen your skills and become good at division and multiplication. So that's all for this video, and we'll see you next time.